Hello ladies and gentlemen, today we'll be going over how to cook delicious porterhouse steaks. Our recipe today will be olive oil, kosher salt, and ground black pepper. This recipe will work for either Angus or Bison porterhouse steaks, and I guarantee your family will love it. First, start by applying the olive oil to the surface of your meat. Do this on both sides, and try not to add an excessive amount, just enough to cover all of the meat. And sorry in advance for the weird angles of the video. For the next video, we'll try to keep it all landscape horizontal. So do this for both sides of the meat and do them for however many porterhouse steaks you're doing. Today, we'll be doing two ourselves. So as you can tell, don't be afraid to use your hands, you know, you don't need a brush or anything. Just use what all the great grill masters of the past have used and just use your hands. The second step will be to apply kosher salt. With these bigger slabs of meat, it's always a good idea to add a healthy amount of salt because in the end, the fire will dissipate most of the salt away from the meat. So to make sure that this stuff remains on the meat, always add a healthy portion. And then after you're done, just pat it into your meat, like so. And of course, do this on both sides, both good healthy coats. The third step and final step of preparing the meat is to add the black pepper. Like the salt, you wanna add a nice healthy coat on both sides. And really try to cover the entire surface of the meat with black pepper. Try not to leave any red spots on there. And after, pat down your meat again. Here's the second side of the meat, and as you can tell, we're really emphasizing covering all the red of the meat to make sure that everything is well seasoned on the surface. So after you're done preparing your meat, make sure you have a nice healthy fire so that your meat can just go on there and you're ready to go. These porterhouse steaks will take around 25 minutes to cook. And yeah, the first side you're gonna wanna leave on the longest for about seven minutes to really let all the juices marinate. Sounding good. So after around 7 minutes, you go ahead and give it a flip, and each subsequent flip will take around 5 minutes. And ideally, you want to flip these uh, pieces of meat for 4 flips in total. After the first couple flips, it's always a good idea to add lemon for moisture and flavor. So there you go, just like the pros. We're adding lemon while it's on the grill and this is gonna come out awesome. So this is the last flip already. I'm just gonna leave it on here another five minutes and that'll be it, we'll be done. As you can tell, these have been grilling very nicely. Try not to have the fire directly on these bison porterhouse steaks and just leave it hovering right over the fire. And there we go, after 25 minutes, they're ready to get taken out and they're basically ready to eat already. There you go, looking awesome. For cutting these porterhouse steaks, really just try to cut around the bone and cut all the meat off this bone so it's easier to cut into chunks after. So as you can tell, we're cutting along the bone, I'm really trying to cut this meat right off. So that this way, once we cut it off the bone, we can cut this into little strips for everyone to enjoy. So this is the final product. It goes well with beans, jalapenos, anything else you really want. I guarantee you family will love it. If you enjoyed this step-by-step -step tutorial, please like and subscribe. Have a nice day.